Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I would like to do a flip through and review of this beautiful coloring book. It is called Flower Haiku and it is by Ellie Marks. She reached out to me and asked if I would want to do a review of her book on my channel. So thank you very much, Ellie. So here we have this beautiful cover. You'll see it is spiral bound, which is always very nice. And here we have the title page. Now, if we all remember from school <laughs> what a haiku is, it's one of those really short Japanese poems. It has what, a specific number of syllables in each sentence. Is it five, seven, five? something like that anyhow so she not only illustrated this book but she also wrote all of the haikus in this book too so she's double talented here <laughs> here we have the nameplate page which of course you can color in then here must be just a page to jot a little note maybe if you want to gift this book to somebody would be kind of neat if you colored in the whole book and wanted to gift it to somebody like one of your children. Now you notice the whole layout of this book. It has the haiku on this side which has a border around it and then we have the picture itself on this side. So I'm going to keep it uh, not quite so zoomed in so we can see both pages at the same time. And I'll just read the haiku that goes along with the picture. So they are technically single-sided pictures, but if you do use alcohol markers in this book, just be aware then that you will no longer, you know, you'll be coloring over the haiku poem as well as this border. But, you know, again, technically I guess they're single-sided. <laughs> so this one, now the haiku is always going to coordinate with the flowers that is in this picture. So this one says, Amaryllis blooms attract tiny hummingbirds, air so sweet. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful morning, beads of dew on buttercups, butterflies flutter. Now this is on very nice cardstock. If you can hear that it's it's very nice and thick I will be linking this she has an Etsy shop and that is where you will order this from so I will go ahead and link her Etsy shop down in the description below if you would like to order this yourself um, but yeah it's on very nice paper so it is relatively smooth paper I think markers both alcohol and water-based gel pens pencils pretty much anything probably watercolor too because it is such nice paper uh, pretty much anything yeah would work in this book clouds part early chameleons camellias blossom shine caterpillars crawl a lot going on in that picture some of them you'll notice are more detailed than others Now, this kind of reminds me almost of a Christmas picture. Daffodils, but it's not because we have daffodils. Daffodils in bloom, deer steps out gently, diamonds of dewdrops. So that's what those are supposed to indicate, I guess, is the dewdrops. Early fog lifted, every leaf covered with dew, eucalyptus sparkles. That cute. Well, this is different. Fragrance in the air. Freesia turns up to the sun. Funnel-shaped flowers. Seems like she has a lot of jewels in her pictures too. Glossy wet petals gleaming after the rainstorm. Gardenia blooms. So here we have some gardenias. High clouds float, hibiscus trembles gently, hot day is ahead. We have these beautiful hibiscus flowers, I love those. In summer garden, impatience are cheerful, iris is somber. 
So a couple of different flowers in there. Oh, look at this little mouse down here with the acorn. That is so cute. Dragonfly. Jarring heat subsides. Joy of sunset extinguished. Jasmine's fragrance floats. Or jasmine. Kingdom of color. Kaleidoscope tapestry. Kayla stands all white. So there's your Kayla lilies. Last rays of sun die, lingering in hazy dusk, lilacs, sweet smell. Oh, look at this cat. Those would be fun to color. Meadows awake, melting under warm spring sun. Mimosas, bright gold. So this is like an Easter picture. Whenever I hear a mimosa, I think of the drink. <laughs> I didn't know it was something else. Night falls quietly next to dark star-filled pond. Nasturtium, is that how it's pronounced? Nasturtium dreams. So there's your koi fish. Over crystal brook on a moss-covered tree branch, orchids sultry blooms. Oh, look at those beautiful orchids. That's another gorgeous flower. I cannot grow orchids if my life depended on it. <laughs> Pink, delicate white. Purple, plush red, violet. Peonies, glory. Talking about all the different colors of the peony flower. I like the bunny. <laughs> Quaint, graceful, airy, quivering in the light breeze. Queen Anne's lace, white stars. Oh, regal and proud, radiant, poignant, fragrant, rose rises tall. The king of the flowers, hmm? Is that what that's supposed to mean? <laughs> Aw, sun rises higher. Sunflower turns its head up, smiling at the sun. Oh, look at those chipmunks. I think they are so adorable. Ooh, through tall, thick grasses, tender and tantalizing tiger lily peaks. Beautiful. And we even have a hedgehog. Umbrellas all wet under quick summer shower. Ursinias shine. Never heard of that flower either. <laughs> Vase in the sunlight, velvety and delicate. Violets look up. <laughs> With some little mousies. I love how she incorporated little creatures into her pictures too. So here we have a bunch of pretty violets. Winter chill is gone, warm wind gently caresses, wisteria's blooms. Oh, it looks like they're in love. <laughs> Beautiful. Xenia in bloom through open balcony door, xylophone, xylophone twinkles. Yucca leans slightly, yielding to dry desert winds. Yellow sand rustles. <laughs> Look at the lizard. And finally, zany ocean wind zealously rearranges Zenobia's bells. Okay, and that is the end. And then we have a nice uh, thick cardstock back cover. Now, you'll notice as I went through this, and I forgot to mention this, that every single page starts with the letter of the alphabet. So here we have the A flower. And then it starts with a B. So every single page goes through the alphabet. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> so yeah, all the way A through Z is what each picture um, the haiku starts with, many times um, referring to the particular flower, um, but I don't think it always does. Funnel-shaped flowers, oh yeah, freesia, gardenia, 
hibiscus. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Impatience. So it does refer also jasmine. I thought there were some that, that didn't. Lilac. Zenobias. Oh, yes, it does. It does refer also to the flower itself. Zinnias. Wisteria. Violets. Okay, yeah. So each letter of the alphabet. Boy, she's talented also in the fact she came up with a flower for every letter of the alphabet. <laughs> so again, this is Flower Haiku by Ellie Marks. And I will leave a link down in the description to her Etsy shop so that you can order this book also. I hope you enjoyed watching this flip through of this video, of this coloring book, I should say. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.